Shadowy Figure and Professor Venomous. Whether or not they're the same person, it's apparent they have some kind of common goal. Now, personally, I don't trust that they're the same person. You guys already know this. I think Shadowy Figure could be Laser Blast, who's Venomous's evil brother, or Venomous was the evil brother, and now they're both the evil brothers. You, you guys get the idea. But what is their master plan? Well, today, let's talk about that. <laughs> Welcome back to the round table. I'm Ostrich Vox, and this is an OKKO theory. The more shadowy figure appears, the more we wonder what is he plotting? Now, we already speculated the obvious that he could be KO's father, and that's clearly where his interest in KO comes from. But he likes to hide behind the front that he's only interested in Glorbs. And I don't think that's necessarily a lie, it's just not the whole story either. He definitely has some sort of end go with the Glorbs. Him and Venomous, speaking of which, and this didn't get much attention, shadowy figure flat out stated that he saw KO's fight with Boxman Jr. in the episode You're in Control. Now, there's a lot of recurring plot devices and themes whenever Shadowy Figure or Venomous are involved. KO's anger management, aka TKO, his lack of a present father figure in his life, although I'm pretty sure Mr. Gar is rectifying that, Glorbs, something we saw both Shadowy Figure and Venomous have an interest in, and Glorbs power the Boxman robots. And there's one more thing that kind of ties back into TKO, the notion of going turbo, where Ash shadowy figure brought out TKO from within KO, creating a turbo version of KO by natural means, we saw in the episode Villain's Night In that Venomous's collar for Fink allows her to emulate the turbo transformation when the collar is in possession of a Glorb, harnessing the Glorb's energy, converting it into artificial turbonic energy. And as we saw from the episode Mystery Science Fair 21X, it is possible for at least some people to produce turbonic energy naturally, whether if KO is a special case or this is something anybody can achieve is yet to be seen. But as we know, TKO is just a manifestation of KO's negative emotions. That does lead me to believe it could be possible for anyone to go turbo, to produce turbonic energy. So what's Shadowy Figure and Venomous's grand plan? Well, this is something I actually thought about. And I also thought about ENJQ's words that overall, OKKO OK is one goofy parody. I thought of all the cliches, tropes, typical supervillain schemes. And that's when it hit me. If Shadowy Figure is laser blast, that means his skin would have changed in hue over the years, a purplish tint. And if he knew how to create TKO, that might mean he himself has a turbo transformation. Perhaps Shadowy Figure is that turbo transformation, but one that's permanent. He cannot revert back to who he used to be. And if Venomous can create an artificial turbonic transformation, what if he was testing the waters for something much bigger? What if Shadowy Figure and Venomous wants to turn the entire world turbo? Everyone in a constant state of negative emotion, raw power, immense power. From Shadowy Figure's point of view, everyone would have to suffer and experience what he goes through every day, being stuck in a permanent turbonic state. Assuming, of course, he is laser blast and going completely turbo was the result of what happened to him all those years ago when Gar left point. The sandwich incident. Whereas for Professor Venomous, being an evil scientist, thus going off evil bad guy tropes, he truly believes he's doing the right thing, or at least he's doing it in the name of science, he could see turbo transformations as the perfect evolution of organic life. It's simple, yet effective. And should this come to fruition, I would love to see KO react to this. How TKO himself would react to this. Because as we've seen, TKO isn't evil, he's just misunderstood. <laughs> and who knows, maybe by the end of the series, TKO will be no more. Once KO resolves all of his daddy issues and embraces himself for who he is, you know, all that good, wonderful, heartwarming jazz. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think Professor Venomous and Shadowy Figure's grand scheme is? Do you think they even have one? Let us know in the comments below or tweet directly to us at Ostrich Fox. We're at The Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. If you want to help The Roundtable grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks, updates, and have your name feature at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Stay in the loop with all things OKKO. OK Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox out.